What's going on everyone, Taylor from Killer Talk TV, back again with another match preview. I've, had a, I've not had one of these in actually uh, quite a long time, I think the last time I did one of these was, uh, was a Motherwell away, uh, where we lost 1-0, and we lost 1-0 last week. The jammy bastards. Anyway, um, here I've got a bit of, we've got some factual information, if you didn't know about my preview videos, I normally have quite a lot of facts to, to share with the, the viewers here in Killer Talk TV. So I'm just going to run through them. Uh, normally the facts are last three results, top scorers, top assisters. I don't, I, there isn't even a word for multiple people who get assist. I think it's just assists or assisters. I don't know. I've just wrote assisters anyway. Um, and then obviously information about uh, where the teams are, how they've been playing for results, stuff like that. And then I'm going to have a wee prediction at the end. So. Last three results between these teams are 2-1 Kelly, 0-0 draw, 1-0 St Johnson. So, the last three results have been even, so technically this is the end of this game. Uh, I did go to the 0-0 draw at McDermott Park last year, which is the most, probably the most boring game I've ever watched. Uh, the pitch was awful, it was pouring the rain, but your pies are amazing. St Johnson pies are top notch. Uh, they are up there with the, with the Kelly pies, I must say. Um, I remember Nathan Eccleson missed an open net in that game. Oh, like, it hit it and, like, the, the ball got caught up in the pitch or something like that. But, um, aye, that was an no draw. I think that was actually Gary Locke's second or third game in charge as well, where we went in that, like, eight undefeated run. And then it was, like, was it like, like 13 defeats out of 15. I don't even know. Um, top scorers for each club are Josh McGinnis on 4 and Steve McLean on 9 who is the second highest scorer in the league behind Lee Griffiths so he is definitely a guy to be uh, to be watched on watched on? I don't know he's definitely he he, he needs to be watched right uh, also McGinnis is in good form as well didn't score last week but he could have easily had a good one or two goals same way quite a lot of folk Higgy could have scored obviously the keeper Connor Ripley made a good save uh, that half volley he hit um, aye. So, top assisters for each club are Higginbotham on 5, uh, I don't actually know that, he was on 5 assists until I looked up last night. And uh, Graham Commons who was on 6, who's actually a striker I think, so as I said in my preferred 11 video, if you haven't seen that, um, it will be up in the channel. Because I'm waiting to the, get these up at the same time. Um, as I said in my, my preferred 11 video, St Johnson will get a lot of firepower up front now, they've got uh, Jason Cummins, they've got Steve McLean as I mentioned, uh, John Sutton from Motherwell who joined him in the summer, uh, Michael Hallen who's looking for a Scotland call up, a lot of folk are um, you know, saying that he should be getting called up for Scotland. Um, there's somebody else I'm missing here. Brian Graham. Did I see him? Brian, no Brian Graham plays with Ross County. I don't know, somebody else I've missed I think. But, um, Right, so St Johnson currently are fourth in the table. They've played 13, won six, drawn two, lost five. Um, they've got a goal difference of six, which is the third best in the league behind Celtic and Aberdeen. So as I said, they have got a good, uh, they have got a, you know, they've got a good attack. So you know, they have been scoring goals, but they've also been leaking them at the back, um, which I also said in my pre preferred eleven video. Come on, like currently eighth in the table, played 13, won four, drawn three, lost six. Go have a goal difference of minus eight, but that's because of the bad start to the season. Uh, that's the third worst in the league behind Dundee United and Partick Thistle so uh, goal difference is quite symmetrical there. They're, they're third highest, we are the third worst. Um, I know, so this game is one to to watch. This is probably one of the best games to see at the weekend uh, for sports scene and hopefully this week they don't just show the goal. If you watch sports scene this week all they showed was the Motherwell goal that was it. If you want to see it now, you have to go on the SPFL channel and then look it up. But um, they didn't even show the Theo Robinson headbutt on. Can't remember who he headbutted. But the guy didn't even get killed. He was only the only yellow killed. And honestly, Bobby. Was it Bobby Madden? I don't know if that's his name, but if he is, he's an egg. Um, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't give the guy a second yellow card. Protection first game is a 1 0 Kelly. I'm trying to say positive. Right? Trying to say positive. It's going to be a Ronnie McKenzie goal. Who has been playing captain the last couple of weeks, uh, which is good to see. Uh, also against the games 4-0 Ross County, 4-0 Dundee. Even though we're losing by big margins like that, he was still trying, still pressing. 
uh, where everybody else was just gearing up after 38 minutes. So I think Ronald McKenzie definitely deserves that captain, that captaincy. Uh, and obviously I've been playing well under him being captain. Obviously last week lost, but that was her first loss in six or seven games. So, um, aye, so my prediction for this one is a 1 0 Kelly. If you've got a really extra road by the way, if you can't tell. Thanks for watching this preview video. Leave a like for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.